Hi guys, I'm Ramesh. Today we are going to discuss about the additive cost functionalities. Okay, let me tell you what concepts we have covered in my last videos, guys. Uh, so far, we have covered about the template allocation and costing variants and special procurement keys. Okay, today we are going to cover about the additive cost. Okay, what is meant by additive cost? What are those? Uses okay. Uh, I'll tell you with one example, guys. In my in my last session, we have discussed about the special procurement, guys. Okay, let's take same example. Okay, plant one is my manufacturing plant, and plant two is my depot plant. Okay, in the plant one, we have maintained about the bombs and routings. Okay, uh, it's a manufacturing plant, so obviously there is a some risk. So I'm I am with uh, I am done insurance for my plant okay I want to show that insurance cost as a cost component structure as a cost component structure in my standard cost okay so those cost insurance cost I can maintain in the activity type or uh, template allegation okay at the same time I can maintain the same cost in the additive cost also okay for example mm, I have some other cost uh, for example some fire broke was uh, fire uh, accident was happened in last month so due to this reason cost were costs are increased so i want to show that some part of some part of fire cost in my standard cost okay so those kind of cost we can maintain through additive cost guys okay let me show you how how to do that one how to activate the additive cost functionality in our standard sap system okay and uh, initially we'll cover about the um, configuration part then we'll check the end user part guys okay i'll start with the configuration part first one we have to make some changes in the costing variant guys okay let me show you the costing variant okay let's go let's open costing variant my costing variant is ppc1 let's go inside in the costing variant we have to make configuration in the two places one is additive cost okay second one is in the valuation variant guys okay let me reset the settings back and then I'll show you okay one more time how to active those things okay by default if you open PPC one system will be like this okay system won't activate this additive cost functionalities guys you have to activate these checkboxes okay what is the use of these checkboxes okay uh, last in our last uh, classes we have discussed about the this strategy okay if as per the strategy if system has to look the standard price system will look the standard price and will pick the some prices okay if this also activated okay if this checkbox also activated at the same time system will look the additive cost functionality whether the system is having any additive cost or not if we have maintained any cost like the system will pick those cost as well if we don't maintain any additive cost system won't pick at all it won't it will uh, pick only the standard cost guys okay uh, by activating these functionalities it won't create any further problems the these are the changes you have to do it in your valuation variant once you are done with the valuation variant just save in your tr guys and go back and open click on this additive cost functionalities okay by default system will give ignore additive cost we have to activate include additive cost once we are done with this we have to click on this one also include additive cost with stock transfers also guys okay once you have activated these functionalities just save it in your tr once you're done with the configuration these are all the configuration part for the costing variant guys this is one and we are having another one also guys 
we have to make some adjustments in the cost component structure also okay whatever the additive cost i am going to add to my standard cost it will it has to show as a separate cost component okay so i have to do some changes in my cost component structure okay let me show you what are those things for this initially we have to create one cost element guys secondary cost element let's create that secondary cost element i hope you guys all are uh, all are aware about the s4 changes we couldn't create cost secondary cost elements in the ks06 okay we have to create both primary sorry gl code as well as the cost elements in the fs00 only that's a s4 changes guys in the ecc6 we can create in the ka060 code but in the s4 hana we have to create in the fs00 only okay let's create this here select this secondary cost miscellaneous insurance charges insurance charges here overhead here secondary cost element okay now i have created uh, secondary cost element for the insurance as well okay we'll go to the cost component structure and i'll show you what changes we need we have to do it okay tz is the t code for the cost component structure guys okay my cost component structure is 01 so let's go into the cost components with attributes here create one new cost 01 15 insurance charges fixed and variable roll up cost component okay cost of goods manufacturer let it be all these things guys you don't need to change anything else um i'll discuss in my next classes guys what are these options for what we have to select these in not relevant variable cost these also till now i haven't covered about the cost component structure most probably i'll cover in my next video or next to next one guys till that time just don't select anything okay just save this one in your tr here we don't need to give anything just cost component structure number description that's it don't select anything by default the system will give the options don't remove anything okay just save it assign cost component cost element intervals click on here new entries cost component structure 01 my one is co ho sorry 1020 is my chart of accounts okay and i have created one cost element let's paste it here and take it drop down it will come automatically save it here okay once you done with the configuration you have to activate this thing okay why we have to activate this whenever you make any changes system by defaultly save in the inactive status guys once you done with the changes you have to activate again okay now we have covered about the cost component structure also so that means we are done with the configuration part okay now let's go for the end user area okay ck74 n ck74 n is the t code to maintain the additive cost guys here you have to mention your um, finished good material and here plant this additive cost also we have to maintain at the plant level okay here maintain the costing variant guys here here system will pick some dates how system is picking those dates 
it depends upon our positing variant settings guys if you want to understand those things just check my video i have covered these okay click on one enter here you have to take variable item here insurance okay here you have to enter the cost element whatever you have created right now just enter it system by default it will calculate the it will capture the cost component guys it just mention the prices how much we are planning 25 rupees per unit okay here this one is a price unit guys just enter one once you are done just save it guys system will show you one more time here this one is a cost element oh wait guys change sorry one minute guys let me just do it one more time capturing this value guys okay and save it again okay additive cost first of all we have to maintain additive cost additive cost through ck74 en once you have created additive cost next one is standard cost calculation through ck 11n or ck 40n okay now let's go and run the ck 11n guys ck 11n i think you guys all are all are aware about this ck 11n guys okay let's see system is capturing those 25 rupees or not see system is capturing the 25 rupees okay these all are coming from the these first uh, first three line items are coming from the routing and the last two rows are coming from the bomb and the last one is coming from the additive cost guys okay if you want to check the cost components also here we can see see insurance charges 25 rupees is covering it's because of that cost component structure whatever we have done okay and i think i have covered all these in my previous sessions guys if you want you can check it save it and mark it and release in ck24 marking and release i guys i guess you guys all are aware right marking and release through ck24 this is about the additive cost guys in the manufacturing plant okay if you want to maintain the additive cost in the depot plants also for example uh, we are transferring the material from the manufacturing plant to depot plants okay system will cap now we are calculating the standard cost in the depot plants okay system will calculate the standard cost with the help of special procurement key guys okay that's how system will capture those things guys if you want just check it in your system also okay it will work it out if you are facing any issues or errors let me know through comment sessions i'll go through and i'll let you know and i just want to make uh, i just want to ask you one thing guys actually right now i'm looking for the job change okay if you have any openings or uh, if you uh, know any open positions just let me know i'll uh, send my profile guys right now i'm in india actually i'm looking for the abroad positions i mean us or dubai sites or anywhere most probably not in india i want to check the other place guys i want to see i want to roam okay 
so please let me know those open positions also and uh, if you like my video just subscribe my channel guys whenever i uploaded the new video you will get the notification also okay please save this one this is my email id guys if you have any questions or doubts also you can reach out to this email id thank you guys that's it about additive cost if you want me to may upload video on any topic just let me know that concept name i'll make it and i'll upload within a week guys within a two days or three days not more than not even a week okay thank you guys bye bye see you